Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Um, excited to come to you through the interwebs and uh, talk to you today about a topic that's um, been on my heart and on my mind, something I've been thinking about, and uh, it's a very sacred topic. It's um, who is Jesus? And uh, you know, we we think about Jesus a lot and. We talk about Jesus a lot and the things that he did, and we read about the stories in the Bible and the different stuff, but I think sometimes we really miss out on really trying to delve into who Jesus is, and there's no way in three minutes I'll be able to um, talk about who every, who Jesus is, so this is going to be a little bit of a mini-series, but um, you know, he's our Savior, he's our King, he's our Creator. And uh, when we really start to understand that, really start to find out what that means, our perspective really starts to change about how we look at not only Jesus, but the Trinity as a whole. You know, this amazing thing, this, this, this sort of uh, conundrum, this peculiar uh, 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 piece but it's God. And once we, we, we start to dive into it, we start to see the things that God was doing and why he was doing them, really how much he loves us, that he created us. Not because he needed relationship with us, but because he wanted to create something that then he could extend relationship to so that it would benefit that creation. I mean, come on. How cool. So who is Jesus? Well, John uh, chapter 1, verse 1, it says this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. So you see here in Genesis, the Bible talks about how God created the heavens and the earth. It's the first book of the Bible. It's usually the one everyone starts with. But here in John, um, John is saying, hey, uh, uh, in the beginning was the word, the word being a term used to refer to Jesus. So really it's in the beginning was Jesus and Jesus was with God and Jesus was God. <laughs> Jesus is with God and Jesus was God. Talk about that in a second. Jesus was with God in the beginning. So ever since the beginning, Jesus has been there. The Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Through Jesus, all things were made. Without Jesus, nothing was made that has been made. So you see, when we say Jesus is our creator, that's, that's a true thing. It's a, it's a real thing. John is saying, hey, through Jesus... All the things we see, the world, the heavens, the earth, the universe, was all made through Jesus. Just so cool. Because it's, it, it's been a thing with the Trinity since the beginning. Hey, to, to do this thing, all in sync. And they're so in sync that John is referring to Jesus as being with God the Father and also referring to the Trinity, both of them as God, the same, right? Oh, it's amazing. This idea that Jesus has been there the entire time. He created us. He knows us. He loves us. We're going to talk about how uh, uh, next time about uh, that that idea of leaving heaven, leaving his glory, to come down to earth, flesh and bone. The Creator then enters into the creation as a created being. What? But today, as you're going through your day, I hope this idea of who is Jesus would permeate your thoughts and your mind and your prayers. You really start to delve into it and go, Jesus, who are you? Because as he 
uh, reveals himself to us. As we ask those questions, he's there and he wants to answer the question and it will change our life. And as we, we, we start to expand our view, we go, whoa, whoa. So God, I pray Lord, that we would get to know you more today, more than we knew you yesterday, more than we knew you even earlier today. And God, that we would get an, even just a, a, a tiny glimpse more into who you are. And our minds would just be blown because of it. Thank you, God, for creating us and for loving us. Watch over us today. In your mighty name, amen. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you this weekend or whenever I see you next. God bless.